Now, pregnant women in labor in Pandai in the northern region will no longer lie on the floor for health care administration. This follows the construction of a fully furnished maternity ward by the Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyendam, after TV3 Missions expose on the ordeal some pregnant women in labor go through at the hospital. The Pandai District Hospital attained a full-fledged hospital status three years ago but lacks adequate infrastructure. It remains a major referral center in Pandai and also serves some parts of the Nanumba South District. The hospital has no emergency ward and so authorities have designated the corridor area to serve that purpose, but this only accommodates two beds. In fact, the health facility is fraught with many challenges. The maternity ward, for instance, is not spacious enough and only few people can have access to beds and gain admission at the facility. Preterm babies, according to the hospital authorities, suffer the most because they lack incubators. We still would need uh, those uh, equipment, the incubators, the phototherapy machines, additionally a biochemistry machine so that we can help to take care of our, uh, our newborn. The Tamale Teaching Hospital is an alternative but one would need to cover over 150 kilometers amidst bad roads. After TV3's mission telecast its documentary on the situation at the hospital last year, Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyindam, who is also the majority chief whip in Parliament, went to the rescue of the hospital. With his common fund, he has constructed, furnished and handed over a maternity ward to the hospital. The project, supervised by the district assembly, has been designed to include well-ventilated spacious rooms for theater, labor ward, other wards and adequate beds. The MP has also made available an incubator which is yet to be installed. For the past three years, the district recorded three maternal deaths, all of which came from the Pandai District Hospital. The three deaths occurred in 2017. Two of them are due to antipartum hemorrhage and one of them postpartum hemorrhage. To a very large extent, this is a dream come true. Uh, it's been many years in the making, but at least since Honorable made this pledge, it's less than two years. So this is a dream come true in that from now we know that our mothers can come to the hospital, have a decent place to lay their heads while they receive care from us. Mary Making characterized the commissioning ceremony as the event was graced by Second Lady Samira Baumia, Northern Regional Minister, MP for the area Matthew Nyendam, municipal and district chief executives, as well as heads of state institutions and departments. District Chief Executive for Pandai, Emmanuel Atta Tatablata, was happy about the success child. The facility like this, one has the potential of attracting quality professional to the district. Maintain it well so that it will last longer to fulfill the purpose of which it was constructed. Member of Parliament for Pandai, Matthew Nyendam, explained, solving the health needs of Pandai is a necessity. A lot of people will say, ah, why are they always airing bad things about Pandai, talking about challenges in Pandai? I tell them that we want to sell our story. And it's out of these stories that challenge some of us to do well, to help those that give us the power to, to, to transform their lives. Maternal mortality is something that we should not be very proud of. So we must do everything within our means to make sure that when it's time for a woman to, to deliver, the woman should deliver and come out with joy. Second lady Samira Baumia was impressed with the facility. In Ghana, 319 women lose their lives out of every 100,000 deliveries. It's unacceptable. And the number is set to be reduced to about 70 per 100,000 live births. But we are saying with this maternity block, inshallah, it will be zero for every delivery in Kanda district. For patrons of the facility, this is a dream come true. <laughs>
We are happy that the MP has prioritized the concerns of women in the Kwandai district and has constructed for us a maternity block. We are grateful to him. Expectant mothers in labor from Pandai and adjoining districts can now confidently walk in to deliver because the era where pregnant women lie on the floor to deliver is over. Medical superintendent of the Pandai District Hospital, Dr. Raymond Atimbila commended TV3 mission for making an impact on the hospital. I want to thank TV3 for the exposure they've given Pandai District Hospital. We are nestled in a very small, remote part of northern region. Without the help of TV3, nobody would have heard about us. And we know that there are many people behind the scenes who have helped Honorable to achieve this dream. So I want to say thank you to TV3. This is not all. Don't forget us. We are still in the same location, same challenges, though one challenge at least has been met. But continue to advocate for us, continue to be the voice for Kwandai District Hospital so that we can continue to have such facilities and the hospital can grow. One of the hospital's numerous challenges has been solved, but more intervention would be required to change the hospital's administrative structure made with wood. Stanley Nibli, TV3 News, Pandai, Northern Region. We are happy we were able to get some results for the people of Pandai. And that's it for Mission this evening. Mission is brought to you by Star Ghana with funding from Danida, the UK Aid and the EU. Thanks for watching.